Hello and welcome. I'm Katie Hunt, your ACSM personal trainer to guide you through the 10 minute total body workout. Have a dumbbell, a free wall, and a mat close by. But we're gonna begin with our breath today. So what I want you to do is place your hands on your belly, close your eyes, and work your way through five deep inhalations and five of your longest exhalations that you can find. So I really want you to explore breathing really deep and bring yourself into your center. Really think about why did you choose to do this workout today? I'm gonna let you finish your breaths for the next few seconds. Feel how the belly rises and falls as you move through your breaths. Finish the one that you're on and then find your way to your edge of your mat. We're gonna work our way through five walkouts. Begin standing at the edge of the mat, fold forward, let your palms touch the ground. Then take little steps with your hands until you're all the way out in the high plank. If you wanna make this a little more intense, you can walk your hands so that they're beyond your shoulders. Just make sure you keep your core braced to keep returning to your center. Finish five of these. Take your time. These are great for lengthening out the back side of your body, great for building heat in your shoulders and your abs, and also awesome to get you connected even further with your center. Beautiful. Finish the one that you're on, then move me back down in a high plank. Step your right leg forward and then sweep the right arm up and around. Left hand stays on the ground. So you're alternating sides. The leg that's forward matches the leg that or matches the arm that's tracing that big circle up and back. Try to keep that back leg, the leg that's straight. Try to keep it as straight as possible. It's okay if that leg bends a little bit. This is a little mobility drill that will get our hips ready for the work ahead. It'll get our shoulders ready for the work ahead. It can build a little bit more heat in the body. Take your time on these two. We're aiming to do about five on each side. All right, come up on your feet, grab a single dumbbell. We're gonna do a lunge with an overhead press. So your dumbbell is gonna be in your right hand and your right leg is gonna be forward. Left leg back, keep that right elbow high, sink down into your lunge and then press the dumbbell overhead. We're going to 10 of these on each leg. When I lunge in a position like this, your feet stay in the same place. I like to think about bending my back leg first, keeping shoulders over hips, keeping a nice long neck, and then that right arm, make sure that elbow doesn't drop lower than your shoulders. Cool, let's switch sides. So the dumbbell is now in your left hand. Your left leg is gonna be forward. Get your balance, tighten up that core, shoulders over hips. Both legs bend, bend the back knee first. You're down and then press that dumbbell into the air. A nice, strong shoulder press with one arm. So anytime we do things that are splitting sides, that can challenge your core a little bit more. As I do these, I've actually placed my fingertips on my core to remind me to stay strong through my center. Maybe you inhale down, exhale press. Beautiful. All right, meet me on the floor in a seated position with your dumbbell if you wish. You don't have to use it. We're gonna bend our legs, lean back to a 45 degree angle. Adjust your tank top first, smile. All right, <laughs> lean back and then you're gonna rotate side to side. We're gonna work this seated twist for 30 seconds. Let your goal be more about twisting than about reps. Turning your body. Imagine you're turning your entire rib cage side to side. Head just follows along, arms just follow along. That dumbbell is gonna increase the intensity. You can take it or leave it. Do what you need to do to make your body strong today. Keep breathing. It's a fast 30 seconds. I need you to come back up on your feet. Bring that dumbbell with you. We're gonna alternate sides and do a side lunge with a chest cast. 
So you can stand in a space where you've got space on either side of you and test it out here. Bring that weight in towards your chest. Step out with your left leg, side lunge, and then press the weight forward. We're alternating sides. So the outside leg bends, inside leg stays almost straight but not locked, and then you shoot that weight out right in front of your chest. That's your chest pass. Alternating side to side, keeping that chest lifted, chin lifted. Maybe you imagine you're pushing something away from you. Fantastic. All right, grab another dumbbell. You're going to need two. We're going to do a wall sit with a row and raise. So find your way into a wall sit position, legs bent at 90 degrees. Hands out shoulder height or a little below. First, we're going to raise the arms overhead and then bring the hands back down to shoulder height and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now this is a little different feeling when we're against the wall. So raising those arms. When you raise the arms, think biceps next to my ears or whatever your pain free range of motion is. Palms stay turned down on this one. The combination of the raise and the row, that's one. So make your way to 10 total of those. Finish those off, and we're gonna transition to the floor, bring both dumbbells with you. We're gonna hold a hip bridge while we divide up the arms for a single arm chest fly. Press those weights up right over your chest. Hold your hips up. One arm at a time comes down to the side. You're alternating sides. Feel free to count your own reps here. We're going to 10. Keeping those hips lifted the whole time. Where are your ribs at? Do they splay open? Can you pull them down and together? Can you squeeze your booty a little tighter? Keep the weights in line right over your chest. Keep a slight bend in both elbows. The tendency is for the weights to start to drift up and be over your face, but we want them over our over our backs. Try to relax your neck. Feeling weight on your shoulder blades. Alternating sides. All right, roll yourself down. Notice how I brought my elbows down and then my hands down. That's a nice, safe way to come out of it. All right, froggy pulses. Make a butterfly position with your lower body. Then lift your hips up, and we're just doing like an inch or two of movement. So the knees have dropped off to the side to your comfort zone. And then we're just pulsing here for 30 seconds. It looks funny, but as you can tell if you're doing it, this is great to target the glute medius. The glute medius cannot escape this exercise. That's why I love it. So you're pulsing for 30 seconds. Hips are off the ground the whole time. Tiny movement. And you made it through that 30 seconds. So we're gonna cool ourselves down. So you can bend your legs. We're just gonna settle here for a few seconds in our constructive rest position. So if you'd like, you can walk your feet to the edge of the mat and let your knees kind of knock together to allow your muscles to relax, whatever feels better. Then I'm gonna crisscross my arms over my chest and just take a couple deep breaths here. Visualize your spine settling, muscles in your upper back settling. Reverse the crisscross of your arms. Take two more deep breaths. 
your figure four stretch. This one is great, especially after those froggy pulses and all the lunges that you did, your side lunges. Take a breath. Then let your legs drift off in that position to the other side. I had to make a little more room for myself here. And at least one more deep breath. You worked hard in this workout. We didn't miss a muscle. Make your way out of this stretch when you're ready. Roll yourself up. Thank you for working out with me. I can't wait to see you at the next workout. If you like this, click that little thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to get new videos first. And you can join my team at www.ckatie.com. Thank you.